Hello, my review is on the movie Gravity, which opened up on uh, October 4th, and I wore my NASA t-shirt for this special occasion. Um, and uh, I got a little summary of the movie, just kind of give you an idea of what it's about. A uh, biomechanical engineer, Dr. Rhinestone, is on her first space shuttle mission, accompanied by veteran astronaut Matt Kowalski, who is commanding his final expedition. During a spacewalk, Mission Control in Houston warns Stone and Kowalski that debris from a Russian anti-satellite test unexpectedly continued to hit other satellites, causing a chain reaction of destruction that unleashed a massive storm of objects moving in their direction. And um, so basically that's kind of how the movie, you know, starts off. It starts off, it starts off that way. And you know where they're they're out, out there in space. They're they're working on the Hubble telescope or repairing it, and then the, the, they get the warning that the objects are coming. You know all these fast pieces of space junk, and uh, so they they don't get out of there in time, and it causes all kinds of damage. You know I could go through and through about what the movie you know about what happens in the movie, but I don't want to give away spoilers or anything. Um, but it's just—it's like it's a survival movie, you know. It's, it kind of reminded me of Apollo 13, you know, where they're—they're they're trying to survive out there in space, and and uh, of course Apollo 13 was based on a true story. This isn't, but this is a good movie. I really, I really like this movie a lot, and I think it was—I think it was everything that was advertised. I thought that, um, you know, I. I I mean, it's getting good reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. I think it's it's like got a 98% by the critics on Rotten Tomatoes, and it got a 91% by the audience. And I think this movie's going to make a lot of money. It could very well be one of the best movies of the year. I mean, just by the way it's being raved on right now. Um, the visual effects are outstanding. I mean, they're just fabulous. Um, you know... You know, I'm not a really big fan of 3D. I, I saw this movie in 3D, IMAX. Now, I'm not a big fan of 3D, because, like I've said in past videos, and, you know, when I talk about 3D movies, I, I say I don't like 3D because it makes the movie seem tinted when you wear those glasses. But when I saw the, when I saw the trailer to this movie, I made an exception. I said, you know what? The way, you know, with all those objects flying around like that in space and the trailer and everything, I mean, that would be pretty cool to see in 3D. And when you wear the 3D glasses and you see orbit, you know, Earth's orbit, it's really breathtaking. I mean, you really feel like you're up there with them. And uh, so, yeah, it's just amazing, you know. And, and, and sometimes those objects that are flying around like this, wearing the 3D glasses, you'll see objects go, boom like that and you'll you'll actually flinch like this because you know it looks like the objects hitting you in the face and come right at you it's just um, the, the, the visual effects the special effects the sound effects everything was really good about this movie and I, 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 th I think it was everything like I said that it was advertised to be and um, you know and, 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 and there's there's scenes in this movie that will leave you on the edge of your seat you know, sometimes your heart is racing. You know, like thinking, "Oh my God, I hope, I hope you know, nothing goes wrong." I, you know, I hope this person doesn't get killed. You know, you, you kind of get that feeling. And um, yeah, and I think Sandra Bullock did a good job in, in her role. I think that George Clooney did a good job in his his role. Um, and it's just, you know, I the the only thing though, I wish they could have done instead of. You know, there were, and I'm not going to the spoilers away, but there was, there were scenes where, you know, she gets into the station and all that, and the International Space Station. But I wish they could have had scenes, you know, where, where um, you see Mission Control talking to them, you know, from, you know, because, you know, everything is all space. I mean, there's the station and everything, but everything is pretty much space, uh, you know, in Earth's orbit throughout the movie, so. But this movie's good. I mean, it, it is really good. It would have been nice if they had a mission control so you have a little bit more, maybe a little bit of Earth, too, what's going on the ground or whatever, you know, with NASA or mission control. Um, but the movie's good. It's it's excellent movie, well put together. 
Um, I recommend it. And, you know, it's not for everybody um, because I've heard very few people, though. You know, some people said they didn't like it. They, you know, it was too too much space, outer space, and everything. But I, you know, I thought it was good. I still, I still felt the movie was a good movie. It was, it's worth a watch. I mean, certainly, I'd like to see it again. It look, it look, it look, it just looks and feels like a good, mo you know, movie. So, you know, I, I, I recommend you see it. I think it was good. It was everything that I could have asked for. And, uh, oh, and I'm sorry that I haven't really done a video in a while. I've had a lot of things I had to have to do and, you know, errands and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I, like I promised, I'll you know, I'll do videos and stuff, you know, uh, and continue to do videos. But anyways, yeah, I, I, I give this movie, um, I give it a thumbs up. And I give it an A. I, and, I, and I'm one of those people that will say it. I think this movie was pretty good. Well, that's all I got to say uh, for right now, you know, say, and uh, until my next review, you know, so I'll talk to you everybody later. All right, take care, everybody.